After winning the Europa Conference League and the Coppa Italia, despite narrowly missing out on the Italian League title, Jessica Parker is back for another season with Napoli to see if she can win the league title and to see if she can take them all the way to the UEFA Champions League final. So to find out if she can succeed, sit back, grab that popcorn, because it's time for the kickoff. A meaningful occasion and all week long the football chatter has centered around this game and these talented teams which one will outwit the other in a packed and passionate stadium so many questions to be answered on a day of destiny all the action coming up next don't go anywhere Welcome everyone on a perfect night for football with the floodlights beaming down. I'm Derek Ray and adjacent to me in the commentary box is Stuart Robson. I'm greatly looking forward to bringing you live coverage of this match being played in Serie A. How do you see it panning out, Stuart? Well, Derek, as is always the case, the team that dominates midfield will be the team that controls the flow of the game. And that for me... There it is! And just the ideal start! Let's see this again, because the delivery into the box couldn't be any better. Played into just the right area, but the finish is so easy. He's given far too much time and space. He doesn't even have to jump. Poor defending, you have to say. Can he play it too? The chance is on and able to close down the shots. Nedim by Rami. Enrique. Well, oh, they get the ball once more. Shooting like that isn't going to live long in the memory. Well, poor decision, bad technique, and a waste of a very good situation. And here's Caceres. He wasn't going to let that go. Well, great read there to intercept. players waiting in the middle there's the cut back well getting in the way superb save now can they hit them on the counter well unfortunately it fizzled out in the end this is looking threatening 
Fine cross into the middle. Possible opportunity. And able to get a body in the way. Perfect challenge. Sassuolo unable to keep the ball. Players waiting in the centre. Bodies forward and the break looks on. Todibo. Doing well to win it back. What can they do from here? Cáceres. The cross is on. Cutting in. Oh, great defending. Huerta. And threading it through. It's in. They're looking really relaxed and confident. And not giving the opposition much of a look in. Well, let's look at this again. To pick out this pass shows wonderful vision. It's inch perfect, and the finish is clinical. It just makes it look so easy, doesn't it? Well, no wonder she's delighted. They're bossing the game now. And the ball is moving again. 2-0 is how it stands. Stylish piece of running. And the ball brought down under no real pressure. Well, it did look promising, but no threat in the end. Really closing him down here. Almost at half time, and they're making home advantage count. I think it's fair to say. Stuart, your thoughts? Yeah, they're playing really well here. They've controlled the flow of the game, they've won their individual battles, and they've created numerous chances. Their only problem in the second half could be complacency, but I can't see that happening. Doesn't have to do it on his own. That'll be a Sassuolo ball. And continues his run. But really sticking to the task defensively. Can they do something positive on the counter-attack? fans really want him to shoot and in terms of added time a minimum of one minute takes on the shots and fine goalkeeping straightforward to mop up defensively and there it is the half-time whistle is sounded no doubt about it the home fans will be the happier of the two Stuart well before the game we talked about their defensive record but it's the forwards who have been still in the limelight today they've been so sharp plenty of movement and if the first half is anything to go by I can see there being more goals in the second half Oh, 
well underway once more and it's going to be fascinating to see what developments occur in this second half and given acres of space to attack here looking for the right angle it's a perfect challenge just have to make sure they don't get caught on the counter-attack a disappointing end to the move Really good pass. And a quick reminder, we have plenty of live football in store for you right here on EA TV. That looks a really entertaining game. Two good teams with two excellent coaches. I can't wait for that one to come round. They've decided that now is the time to go to the bench. Just losing control of the ball, and it will be a throw-in. Huerta. Well, the attacking options appear plentiful. Foiling his opponent completely. Just straying offside. Time for a change then. defending will he play it in ready to fire textbook defending inside the box steered out of play and a throw in coming up and teammates around him the cutback a good and fair challenge to the penalty area what a vital intervention well, one of the best leagues in the world Serie A and action from it coming up live here on EA TV it's Sassuolo facing Empoli and passing it through Let's look at this again. To pick out this pass shows wonderful vision. It's inch perfect. And then what a strike. That's hit with such ferocity. Certainly no stopping that. That's a great goal. Well, she looks very pleased, doesn't she? Her side have been really good today. Is this going to be a thrashing? 3-0 now. Nedim Bayrami. Effective piece of pressing. Well, no stopping him. Can they cover up? Well, those stats tell you everything. They're opening up the opposition at will, and while we've seen some really poor defending, their attacking play has been excellent. And a simple clearance, a good one. He's managed to lose his marker. And a long way out here, but the keeper takes charge, and it was pretty straightforward. And Sassuolo come away with it. Now we're inside the final quarter of an hour now. Well, foul play, says the referee. So, making the substitution now. Now 
may be room here for the counter-attack. So many possibilities, but it didn't happen for them. Teammates available. Well, he was in the right place to intercept. Ten minutes to go then. on the cusp of the final whistle and the home side really prospering today. Stuart, interested to get your take. Well, the result has never really been in doubt, has it? They've created so many chances with some brilliant attacking play. I think they've looked an outstanding team today. Trying to up and up the defence. Well, good effort, but he's placed it wide. Davide Fratesi and support available and a good tackle Pina Monti well, the defenders know they need to get tighter can't really allow runs like that and the electronic board delivers the news two minutes of stoppage time Gonzalo Inacio. The referee blows for full time. It ends at a victory for the home team. No complaints from the fans here. Well, we spoke about their great defensive record, but today it was all about their front players. I thought they were excellent. Their ability to turn with the ball around the edge of the box was a real feature of their play. They were certainly good value for that win.
I'd like to thank everyone who watched this episode of Manager Career Mode. If you enjoyed this episode, please consider clicking the thumbs up button and giving it a like. This will also help it gain more recognition. Click the subscribe button and the bell icon to ensure that you never miss an episode of FC24 or any future content. This will allow you to be notified when new episodes become live. Please leave a comment below with any feedback on the episode. And also tell us about the players' tactics and formations you enjoy using in your very own career mode. I want to thank you all for watching. Thank you. And goodbye.